chocolates. Two silver cars this way and then you're clear. This film shows Zebedee, a five-year-old hackney cross Dartmoor gelding, that we retrained to drive. He had been to another trainer for three weeks prior to coming to us, and his owner told us that she had been informed by the other trainer that Zeb was a fidget and would not be suitable as a driving pony. Here we are taking Zeb into the town of Stockbridge to show that he will cope happily with a busy environment and also that he is happy to stand still with no groom at his head for a long period of time. We find that Stockbridge is a good town for training horses because you can park on the side of the road and not interfere with the flow of traffic on the main road. This allows the horses to learn how to stand still calmly with people moving around them and also to get used to traffic. We have put Sarah on the reins as Zeb's owner is a lady to show that he can be controlled safely by a female whip in such testing circumstances in just a soft rubber bit. With horses that fidget, and indeed all the horses we train, we believe that they should stand still calmly without needing a groom at their heads to restrain them. We feel that they should not need tip bits as a distraction in order to remain standing still. We also believe that they should stand still under loose rein, i.e. so they are not being restricted by the bit. This shows that Zeb is free to move should he choose to do so, but that he will not move because he is listening to the instructions from the driver and is happy to follow them. If you are out on a pleasure drive and want to stop off to talk to somebody, or indeed if you are doing a picnic drive where your horse has to drive out somewhere, stand still for a period of time and then return home, it is crucial that they are able to remain standing still for as long as you wish them to. Horses that are doing commercial work, for example weddings and funerals, need to stand still outside the church while the service is taking place, and then stand still calmly with all the members of the public around them, while people are loaded into the carriage. There is no reason why pleasure driving ponies should not be able to stand just as still as commercial driving horses. It is all a matter of the training, and how you teach them. In our opinion, a lot of Zeb's fidgeting was due to him being anxious about the carriage, the feeling of the shafts on his side, and his belief that he could not pull the vehicle, which could either be caused by the vehicle that was used to brake him initially being too heavy, or due to the driver having their foot on the brake and using it incorrectly. As you can see, Zebedee has his leg at rest and Sarah does not have her foot on the brake. The reins are loose 
allowing Zebedee free movement of his head. When he is approached by different people and a mobility scooter, he is happy to remain standing still. Often when you are out on a drive, people will want to come up and say hello. These people may not be horsey, and may not understand that a horse with blinkers cannot see you if you approach from behind. Therefore with all the horses we train, we like to teach them to cope with things coming up from behind. Touching them for the quarters unexpectedly, for example. And with people moving about by the carriage. This is all good training for the horse and teaches them to relax and listen to the driver regardless of what is going on around them. Although we do not let people feed the horses we are training titbits, we do allow them to come up and say hello. Because, after all, this is all good training for the horse. You can see that Zebedee is not bothered by people touching him or moving about by the carriage. He is happy when they approach him from behind and pass in front of him and when they approach from the front and go behind him. In order to show this film as a continuous piece, portions of it have had their speed increased by eight times, which gives you an idea of the length of time that Zebedee was asked to stand still. We have boxed him down to Stockbridge today, which means he is fresh when he meets the traffic, and also ensures that he has not done a lot of work before being asked to stand still. In our opinion, if he will stand still when he is fresh out of the stable, full of food, and very fit, in just a soft rubber bit, it shows that he has been trained correctly, and is listening to the driver. A horse that is tired, unfit, or is not being fed properly, will be happy to stand still purely because they are tired. But in our opinion, this does not prove anything. It shows no skill on behalf of the trainer, and is not a true reflection of how the horse will behave. Many people have problems getting their horse to stand still when they are fit, or when they are fresh, and also if they are on plenty of food. So in order to show how effective our training is, we like to test horses under these circumstances in order to show that they will still listen. This means that owners have proof that their horse or pony can be controlled, even under conditions that they would normally try and avoid. For us, breaking a horse to harness involves more than teaching it to pull a carriage. It is all these important lessons that need to be taught to the horse in order to make it a safe, confident and happy driving animal. We then take Zebedee back to the trailer, unharness him and take him back to the yard. He may be parked in a busy showground with lots of other horse boxes moving around him, so it shows that he will remain calm even after a trailer ride where he has been taken into an entirely new environment. <laughs>